Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here on Christmas morning. Cylinder charts are simply a variation of a 3D bar chart. And whatever your feelings about 3D charts, some people think they're cool and others hate them, it's something I've been asked about several times during DataViz training courses. So today, I'll show you how to make one. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. This is a dashboard used by the CEO and sales leadership team at Excellent Ice Cream. And to show you what I'm aiming for, I've already created the chart. It displays the revenue generated per salesperson. This is the raw data. It's the sales of ice cream for January 2022. And that chart is based on this pivot table. But for training purposes, what I'll do is I'll delete the chart from the dashboard and then I'll recreate it. The chart will be based on this pivot table here. So I'll click into the pivot table, click on insert and go and select a 3D clustered column chart. I'm going to start by changing the chart title. I wanted to pick up the chart title from A1. So click on the word total, click in the formula bar, type an equal sign and click on A1 and press enter. And that has picked up whatever text is in cell A1. I don't need the word title on the right hand side. That's the legend. So I'll select it and press the delete key. I also want to remove the grid lines. I need to right click onto one of those grid lines, go to format grid lines, and that will open up the grid lines panel and set the line option to no line. And I can close that panel to set it to be a cylinder chart. I click onto one of the bars and all of them get selected and then right click and go to format data series and then select cylinder. So at this point I have the basic cylinder chart, but I do want to make quite a few changes. I want to make those cylinders or bars closer together. So I'll go and change the gap width. So let's make it quite small. Let's make it 30. So the smaller the number, the smaller the gap. And it's just a case of playing around with it. I'll also change the way that those cylinders look. So on the middle button, which is the effects, I'll go to 3D format and I'll change the top bevel. Now, this is just a case of playing around until you get the effect that you want. So let's go with that one there. And I'll change the height. And again, it's just a case of playing around until you get what you want. So start with 10, change it to 20. No, I think that's a little bit too tall. So let's change it back to 10. And I can also change the bottom bevel in a similar way. You can see that that has affected the bottom of the cylinder. And I could change the, the width and height of that if I wanted to do that. I'll also change the material. There's a few of these to choose from. And as you select them, you can see it's just making changes to the way that the cylinders appear. Just find one that you like. I'll also change the color of the cylinders. And to do that, click on the paint pot icon, open up the fill section, and then I can choose whatever color I want. I'll go for Excel green. I'm also going to change the chart background just by clicking on the edge of the chart. And because I had the panel displayed on the right hand side already, it's just changed it to be format chart area. And I can go and set the fill color. Let's have it as a, a light gray. Now, one of the problems with the cylinder chart is that the axis headings, particularly the X axis headings don't line up. What I'll do is I'll actually delete the X axis heading just by selecting it and pressing the delete key. But I'll also select the Y axis heading and delete that as well. Now, if you're wondering what's going on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the numeric value from column B in the pivot table with the name of the salesperson from column A on the pivot table. And I'm going to add them as data labels. So with the chart selected, I'll go up to the design tab on the ribbon, 
click Add Chart Element, go to Data Labels and select More Data Label Options. And that opens up, if it wasn't open up already, the panel on the right hand side, but it's giving me the data label settings. It's added the data labels to the charts. And what data labels are, are the numeric values from the source data displayed against each bar, or in this case, each cylinder. Now I want to change those. Instead of just displaying the numeric value, I want to display, as I said, the salesperson's name as well. So to do that, go up to Label Options and go to the fourth icon, open up Label Options, and I'm going to tick Value and Category Name. And you can see what that's done in the chart. Now, instead of having a comma to separate them, I'm going to change that to be a new line. And then if I need to, and I do in this case, I can move the data labels to where I want them. I'm just going to place them above each one of the cylinders. Unfortunately, you do have to do it one by one. There isn't a, a quick way to do this. And then finally, I will cut and paste the chart onto the dashboard because it always builds the chart on the same sheet as the pivot table. So just literally cut, go to the dashboard, paste and position my chart where I want it. And there we have a nice little cylinder chart. Did you find this video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent Christmas Day, everyone. <laughs>